Alright, this is the Mona Kea playtest. We are going to start now with player activation. Alright. So, which one of you wants to go first? I'm not in a hurry. Oh, all of these blue hexagonals is size 1 cover, green is soft cover, um, and the red is unmeltable giant fucking tree trucks. Okay. I mean, and you say you need to do a printer in the happy end, so that's why. So who wants the who wants the first turn? I'm already uh, I'm already in range, and I can use uh, claw like protocol on those two on the hill right now. Yeah. If uh, nice. people are right with me going first. That is the sentinel uh -huh. All right. So I am going to start the turn by activating Plow Lock Protocol. Okay. That's going to give me two heat. And basically it's going to let me reroll misses onto a secondary target. That's within range 15. Okay. And then I am going to... Uh... I am going to barrage the... I'm sorry, I'm not as familiar with the uh, NPC tokens. Which one's which? So the bottom one between these two on the hill is the Sentinel, and the one above them is a Ronin. Since they are behind size one cover right now, they do have um, a difficulty against your arcade weapon, but you can still attack them, I believe. Uh, yes, but I'm going to use Actually, the... Actually, the Sentinel does the does. I'm gonna use the Gandiva missile, which okay. has seeking, so it ignores cover. Doesn't require a line of sight. Yeah, but uh, it ignore. Oh, it does ignore. Yeah, all right. Understandable. Uh, so I'm gonna shoot that one at the guy that would have cover from the other weapons. So yeah, right. I guess the top one, the Ronin. Okay. Sorry. So I'm gonna have plus one accuracy because I'm accurate. Okay. I think that's it. Just making sure. Yeah, okay. Alright, that's a 9 to hit the Ronin? Oh uh, yeah, it targets their E-Defense is a smart weapon. Okay, right, that just hits them. Um, roll your damage, please. Okay. Also going to activate um, storm bending. All right, with your storm bending, storm bending does. Uh, it knocks back uh, friendly, or it knocks back uh, people that are next to them. Actually, what happens if they get knocked back into the wall? Does that do anything? Nothing, uh, unless it says it does something when something was knocked into a wall. Actually, you know what? Knocking him back would be bad because I'll just knock this guy into cover, I think. Into, into soft cover, yes. Yeah, so actually, let's not do that. We won't okay. activate that. Roll damage all the same. Alright, 
11. I'm gonna take what? a reaction. Um, deflect from Arona. Alright, no deflect. That's fine, though. Oh, uh, they take 11 damage. Alright. And then, um, I'm now gonna shoot, as part of the barrage, the Sharanga missiles. Okay. I'm gonna target the... And the Sharangan missiles are just arcing. Yeah, they're just arcing. Okay. And you're targeting the Sentinel with this part of the barrage? Well, it, it could target, uh, it could attack two targets at the same time, though, anyway. Okay. So we're gonna target both of them. This is my first time ever seeing one. <laughs> okay, so we're hitting them there, and then we're going to have difficulty this time, right? You're going to have difficulty on the Ronin. You're not going to have difficulty on the Sentinel because of uh, edge to edge. Okay, so we're going to roll it separately then. I would just, I would just roll a minus 1d6, right? Correct. Uh, on the uh, that hits. Yes. All right. Uh, that just does three damage. Straight up. Just three. All right. And then the other one. The other one I don't have difficulty on. You said. Yes. Yeah. It's just a normal roll. I have some four. And by the way, th these ones don't target E defense. These ones target. Yeah. No. I. I. I know. So I'm double checking your sheet every three seconds. Uh, no. That misses, yeah, me too. That misses the sentinel. <laughs> Okay, so then that will activate the Tlala class NHP. So when I miss a... Uh, so I'm immobilized this turn, by the way. All right. Um, and when I miss an attack, I get to choose a new target within the attack's range. So I could just retarget the other mech that I the shot. Right. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, because I have Brutal 3... Whenever I miss an attack, my next attack roll gains plus one accuracy, and it persists until I hit. Okay. Double check to make sure not just relays. Okay, yep. Go for it. I was thinking of Predator. So then this would be 1d20 uh, Just a plus... d20. Well, wait, also, is this canceling out the difficulty? Yes, it cancels it out. Okay. When do you take me plus two, right? Because I have mm -hmm. attack bonus. That's your grit, baby. 19. All right, that does hit the Ronin. Dealing another three, three. damage. Not looking three. great, that one is. It wiggles, yep. it's so it, it's like spam parrying. If you've ever seen, like, fucking For Honor. Uh, they're holding their sword up and they keep, like, tapping block really, really fast to see if they can catch a, just a random parry. And it's just they just keep getting shot in the face with a fucking missile. Yep. Also, uh, I am going to go ahead and activate my Stormbringer on this last shot. Okay. But it's once per round because I want to get those stacks going. So I'm actually going to do the... Um, the... Should I do the knockback? Or the... Three spaces away. Now I'll just do the knockback. The, the, the main reason why I'm doing this is to get stacks on the torrent die. Okay, so thunder or lightning? Is what you're doing. Uh, I am doing it would be uh, thunder. So they have to make an agility save or be knocked back by one space away from All the target. Right. So that primary is target's just unaffected. The yeah, because it's a, it's a first. Yeah. So what's your save target? The target is twelve. All right, just just missed it. So I get knocked back one in my prone. You said. You're not uh, actually. I think you're only prone if no, I crit. Okay. Yeah, you're not prone. Or pro no, I'm prone if I used a lock on, which I didn't. Yeah, I get knocked into the soft cover, All right? And uh, that's it. All right, end of your turn. I'm going to activate... You know, this seems fitting. Your archer, I'm going to activate my archer. I want to activate my archer, which is 
play for you guys to come to me first. But I might activate my scout. No. Yeah, let's do Sentinel. I am going to... I'm going to choose an ally within range 5 as my ward, as a protocol, for bodyguard. And I'm going to choose this Ronin you've been bullying. That's my, uh, that's my, my, my ward. Now I'm going to move 5. Boost. Right around over here. And then I'm going to quick action activate Eye of Midnight. And with Eye of Midnight, act sorry, I'm just. Ah, oh, gosh, I need to hit my mountain do a bit harder. Uh, the sentinel becomes slow, but can take overwatch once per turn instead of once per round. Once activated, this effect lasts until it's deactivated as a quick action. And you guys are all within a pretty good range of me now to be doing this. So I'm going to end my turn as the sentinel. That's two quick actions for me. Yeah, a boost in a, in a, in a sentinel. So we have playwright, Argo, and Phoenix up next. Mind if I Argo go next? Nobody else wants it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna I probably select my place. I'm gonna move I'm going to move and boost all the way to over here. Uh where do you start your boost? Uh I go one, two, three I start the right around here. Okay, so you start your boost there within my threat, and I'm going to take a shot at you with my combat shotgun. Is that the Caliban? Yes. Yeah. Can, you, can you see it over the cover? It's size one. Oh, shit. No, right. it's size half. Size half. Right, right, right. Yeah, he's yeah. he's oh. half size. The cover's size one. I for gore. Um, no, he can't. So, yeah, you're fine. So go for it. You're you're so going up against him. I'm going up against him, and then I'm slamming into him to push him against the size one cover. All right, you're you're ramming. Uh, it's one of the frame tapes called slam. When the character or... looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to like ram or hit them with knockback in order yeah. to do slam. Oh, okay, then I'm gonna hit. Oh, oh I just use him with the hard knockback. I'm yeah. gonna use my shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Oh, excuse me. Which one? Um. I'm gonna hit him with my uh, heavy eight SS uh, and a bowl. Okay. Oh, right. The cannibal. That weapon is inaccurate. Are you firing with a single barrel or both barrels? Okay. Hold it. Oh, uh, do I first roll the inaccurate? Uh, you roll them at the same time. Just roll uh, a d20 I... plus 2 minus 1d6. <laughs> uh. Are you using a discord or a roll 20 to roll? Uh, roll 20. Just roll 20 to roll. <laughs> in the advanced, it's that controller in the first. Uh, 
Just roll a d6, bro. Uh, yeah, just roll a d20 plus 2 plus or minus 1d6. Okay. Well, regardless of whatever the math would be, that's a nat 1, so it misses. So that's your quick action as a boost and a quick action to skirmish with your shotgun. Do you have any other weapons on that mount? I don't believe so. I have, I, I have many weapons. Yeah, but on that mount. Um, I think one like, oh. So on the mount. Uh, yeah, when you skirmish, mount. you use a single mount. Well, I do have the. Yeah. More integrated mounts, which. Uh, do not count. After they're, they're, they're their own separate with, mounts. Uh, it's from a. Uh, it's from a uh, core bones. Oh, the GMS core bonus? Okay, yeah, you get to fire that as a free action. Would that be yeah. Missile Rack? And that... Yeah, that is the Missile Rack. Right? Okay. Ooh, fellow Missile Enjoyer. So you are engaged, so you do this at difficulty, and also you are in range of it, so I believe you would hit yourself as well. So I don't think you can technically hit yourself with your own weapons. Oh, that's interesting. I've never had that happen. I don't quite know. So it would be the same roll, a d20 plus okay, 2 plus or minus a d6. Can I better just instead ram him? Or, yeah, ram? That's, no, that would be a quick action. Uh, yeah. You could overcharge. You could overcharge. You're at a d3 overcharge right now. You... Mm. Yeah. Okay, so like dice roller. You roll a D three, yeah, and you'll hop up to a D six on your overcharge chart. No, I'm just rolling the uh The missile rack? That would be a twelve yeah, I'm firing the missile rack. That would be a twelve. No, uh hold on, minus four eight. That'd be an eight. Uh eight still hits, that's me to beat. Oh, yeah, okay. so then, Could you also uh, this, God, seven? You'd know this. Can can you hit yourself with your own blast radius? Seven's not at the computer right now. That's fine. I'm gonna say no. Oh, you're you're shooting above. Let me see. Yeah, and that hits. That would be, that would be then a max damage for the missile rack. Missile Rack is a D3. I do not know how to do a D3, so I would It would be the same as a D6, it... you just put a roll of D3, like that. But a, a 6 would be 3 plus 1, which would be 4, you're correct. Yeah. So 4 reduced by 1 to 3 by armor. Alright. Is that going to be the end of your turn? I believe so. Alright. That's the end of your turn. To mobilize my albatross, oh, not my albatross, my Ronin. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna activate this Ronin. I'm gonna move boost to right here, and then I'm going to skirmish with you. And I get a extra die of accuracy because of teamwork, which uh, gives me a die of accuracy when my allies are engaged with the enemy target. So I get plus two accuracy because the nail carbon sword has built in accuracy. Um, that's a 10 to hit Caliban. You have an evasion of eight. Yeah, that hits. Yes. So you're going to take six damage. Uh, oh, reduced wait. by your armor, so four. Yeah, uh, I I think we're both seeing two different versions of my sheet, but I do have a ten evasion. I okay. Meet what to happened? Beat, what, yeah, meet to beat. Okay, I'll try and keep that in mind that you actually have 
10 evasion. Okay. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. And that gives you an Echo or a Ronin's Mark. Uh, at the start of the Ronin's next turn, the Ronin can clear all Ronin marks as a free action, automatically dealing 1d6 AP kinetic damage to all characters the Ronin has damaged. And that is going to be the end of the, uh, the Ronin's turn. That's Ronin 1. Now we got Phoenix or Playwright on, the, on deck. Let me get in here. I got a good turn. And I'll clean these guys up so you can walk past them if you want to. Let's All right. See so, how much damage did I take on that? You took four. Four total. I'm gonna normally move up to here. I'm behind this cover, uh -huh. and I ignore it because I have threat four on my big super heavy. Right. So we're gonna walk up, take four heat, and swing the really big arm. All right. For, uh, just for barrage that motherfucker. So yep. let me remember how. Oh, in a oh, integrated weapons. Where are you, Tianpakai? You beautiful, beautiful master. That's a fourteen to hit the sentinel. Yes. All right, three brown hit. It attacks target and any characters adjacent to it of the Empakai's choice must make a hull save or be pulled adjacent and automatically grappled. Okay, so you took four heat. You said. I take four heat. I deal 10 damage, and uh, 10 damage, 4 heat, and 3 burn. And then we start doing the weird AoE stuff. Yeah. So, so the attacks target you make, any character adjacent to it. So that is both the Ronin and the Sentinel. You can force a hull save from them? Yes. Okay, so hull save first from the Sentinel, and then we'll yes. do the Ronin. Save target is 10. Uh, right. They get difficulty on it from my frame trait. Uh, oh, Epikai. Untenable power. Five, that's a failure from the Sentinel. Yep. Now give me the run. And that's a failure from the Ronin. Big difficulty coming in. Um... We now have backswing cut. All right. This is going into the Ronin. All right, into the Oh, road. I didn't. I didn't hit C commit this turn. I should have hit C commit. That's that'll be for next turn. C commit? In segment? Yes. Uh, nineteen to hit the Ronin. Okay. That's a crit. Uh, I have accuracy from Pankrati one now. Oh, I did. Okay. So, Pankrati 1, you said, and... Yep. Reroll the damage. It's 6, it's halved, so it should be... 2 burn, 3 damage, and 2 heat onto the Ronin. Alright. And we get one more fun trigger. We get Wide Art Cleave. First time around, you perform a critical hit. Did you get a critical hit? Yes, because mm, of where we grappled him, he gets pulled next to me, and then this kicks in, so we get accuracy on that. We hit a nineteen oh, on. Oh, the did you get another? Play. Did you get a d six of accuracy on that second attack? Is what you're saying? Yes. I see. Okay, I understand. It just didn't pop off. I see. I see. Okay, then you did crit. Now you uh, perform a critical hit. You deal three connect damage to all characters and objects of your choice within threat other than the one you just attacked. So that would not be the Ronin, that would be the Sentinel, and then the Sentinel would be dead. Sick. Sentinel uh, would have he one left. He's grappled. That's it for me. We could overcharge. We should have popped Seekin, but we forgot about that. I will pass my turn. of your turn. That's a good one. Now I remember how the Empakai works. <laughs> Get fucked, asshole. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Alright. Uh, are you in range 10 yet, you fucking bastards? You fucking assholes, you fucking sons of bitches? No. 
This Ronin's not going to survive another turn. Uh, I'm going to activate Ronin number two, who got lit the fuck up. Earlier, move boost. Um, it loses the bodyguard. And I'm just going to take another shot at fucking uh, the Caliban to keep him peppered. With accuracy. Wow, that's a that, that's a garbage ass roll. Okay. I move my um, that's just the end of the mm -hmm. Ronin's turn then. Uh, playwright, you're up seven. You here? Oh, seven senpai. You... Okay. Uh, this hardcover. How high is it? One. It's just size one Fun. cover. Okay, I have bulwark mods. I'd like to just climb over. Alright. Uh, and I will go to the prey of things. Six. Seven, so I have one movement left. Okay. Uh, and which one of these Ronins look better? better uh, this one that just rolled well actually that one looks way worse it would be the one that's being grappled actually okay uh i will throw a knife at it forward knife okay go for it and let's see you're skirmishing wait the one that grappled looks better uh yep <laughs> yep the other one's got one hp just because i oh. lit it up friendo yeah, best turn, first turn, I, best home, I first turn fucking 17 damage. To, right, I so think you, I'll barrage. Yeah, okay, you're barraging with your fold knives, so that's all fold knives. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. Uh, I have two sets of fold knives and two sets of uh, segment knives. All knives, all right, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so this fold knives, first one. 18 hits. I'm going to activate opcal and uh, thermal charge on it. Okay. Or 2d6 extra damage. 12 plus 3 is well 15. Oh, uh, it's dead. Nice. And then I'm going to throw my second photo knife at... Well, I, I don't guess. Uh, I guess I don't have to throw it. I could just stab it. Uh, 12... I do believe hits a tier 1 Roman. Yeah. Dead. No damage even needed to roll. Oh, okay. Yeah, you uh, have no HP, no armor. Yeah. I guess I forget, but I won't do this. Uh, just throw the knives, not activate skirmisher one. Forget if skirmisher one has to hit a target or target a character. It just needs to attack. attack. Okay, then in that case, I'll just throw in like towards the objective and move towards it. Does Hunter one hey can I say that I used wide art cleave to clear out part of this forest <laughs> you've certainly made a dent but uh, none that I'm willing to represent mechanically <laughs> All right. uh, and then the uh, monarchy needs that forest it's trying to hide <laughs> what's then, next uh, on the chopping block oh I guess I should have done a skirmish, but uh, I'm going to overcharge. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one, one, never punished. Uh, and I'm going to hide. It's quick action, all right. All right. Maybe I'll activate my scout now. Um, maybe I'll also just fight with this. Hmm. Actually, this might be a little bit. So, I'm going to... 
<laughs> I'm going to move. I'm going to uh, activate my scout. I'm going to step out slightly. Yeah. And I'm going to roll to hit um, Phoenix with my marker rifle. I got soft covers, something, right? Um, you are not in any soft cover right now. Oh, but he's shooting through two jungles. Um, but you're not in that soft cover. If it was a line weapon, yes, but with with uh, with just a, a targeting weapon like this, no. Pretty sure that's how it works. I'm skeptical. Let's see what the dice say. It's a marker rifle. Uh, target received lock on, no damage, just lock on and shredded. No, not shredded. What am I saying? Oh wait, they are shredded. Can't hide. No. Can't become invisible. Right, right, right. Oh, I don't care about that. They can fucking see me. Look at me. I'm glorious. <laughs> shredded. And you remain shredded as long as you have that lock on on you. And then I'm going to move back one, and then I'm going to quick action activate cloaking field. And allied characters within the area are invisible. I'm going to immobilize myself. You can watch me hide behind my big middle finger the entire yeah. time. I'm using like a shield as I charge at him. That is going to be the end of the uh, scout's turn. And now I get to activate my archer. No, I'll activate my ramen first. Move. <coughs> this won't be worth it, will it? Um. Run into our threat ranges, do it. Move. Yeah, it's gonna move. It's going to. Yeah, it's gonna lock onto Caliban. And it's going to boost. Move again. Right here. And that'll be the end of that Ronin's turn. You guys are still not in fucking range of me. Except for the one who's in, who's hidden. Ah, oh, you guys are in my... Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Tell this me I'm not in cover for this one, though. Come on. You're, you're, you're not even in my range. I'm going to do something a bit funnier, actually. Um, I'm going to full tech invade. Um, I'm going to full tech invade... Oh. Phoenix, I feel. So, first basic invade coming at Phoenix. This guy hit me. I don't even need to fucking roll. <laughs> <laughs> and then second full tech invade. Alright, there we go. 12 hits. Right, what happens to me? I get heat, two heat and... and impaired for, until the end of your next turn. Alright. That's the end of the archer's turn. Beginning of round two. Player activation, who wants it? Send in the Caliban. Send in the Caliban. Wow, oh, that's probably the Caliban. Send in Batman? Sevens? Put me in, coach. Uh, sure, I'd go. Go for it, son. Okay. So, move. And. Trader. On my. T move through. So. Uh, okay, so I can move here without breaking hit in. And then I will go ahead and uh, skirmish. Mm -hmm. And I forget when that break's hidden. 
Is it when I use the when you when you use uh, basically when you roll, I think. You expose him and he gets messed up. Yeah, and you make two saves. Uh, okay. uh let's go with the exposed one first. So uh exposed one in systems. So a systems what, minus one from Roman. Twelve? Uh twelve is exactly it. Okay, that's me to be. And then a um uh, another systems. Alright. For uh blind. Just a little bit better. Okay. The luckiest Ronin in the goddamn world. Luckiest Ronin. Um He actually got a firmware uh, update today, and he's like a day away from retirement. <laughs> Now you jinx them. Uh, <laughs> so my first attack, I will go ahead and yep, hold nice again. All right. this first one hits. No it misses. Okay, and then stab him with another fold knife. That hits and crits. And reroll that d3. Okay, two damage. And I'll activate Hunter 3 to throw a segment knife. Okay. Nine misses. Okay. And then I will. My first attack roll. Attack roll. Or... I think first. Um. Uh, oh wait, old knives crit. So, because of that, I get to teleport two spaces. Okay. Teleport two spaces. Right here, out of sight. Would that be out of sight? Um, I think. I think That's so. the. It was a size one. This map is particularly nice for hiding. Yeah, I suppose the, yeah. the, 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 uh, the, uh, that motherfucker would see you. Okay. Uh, I'll still teleport you. And then I will you hide. You use tactical, you know. Uh, I'll hide as a quick action. Okay. Wait. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait, I could use tactical. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll use that to become hidden. Okay. And then you teleport, and then you have a quick action still to boost and get the soft cover. Yeah. I should have looked up all these rules, but, uh, this boost break hidden. Oh, boost does break hidden, don't it? Okay. And I was like, what? Here. Should have kept track. Can I control Z in roll twenty? Not really. No. No. Where do you want to go? Uh, need to move. Yeah, what space? Uh, into this brush here. Okay. Okay. Like right around there. So, is this just you re redoing your movement? Uh. Yeah, because I had at least two spaces left over because I was here around this general area. Okay. So teleported, and then I would have two spaces. Wait, kind of... you entered engagement. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, entering engagement would lose you all the rest of your movement, doesn't it? Yeah, it eats the rest of your move. Ah. Okay. And I guess I will stay here. Uh, and then I suppose you lose hidden on the archer's turn when he sees you? Uh, I am in cover against it. I think corner to corner he can see you. Let's see. He's in a lot of cover. Uh, you know, yeah. I'll say that's cover. Oh, wait. He is on top of a size 1 cover right now as well, so he's technically size 2. Oh, wait. Do you have a solution? Uh, I will smoke bomb. 
Oh. Uh, with my quick action. And then use uh, the Monokua's um, deep water to hide as a free action. There we go. So, blast two. Uh, smoke. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll center it here so the Ronin doesn't get it. This? Yep. Screw okay. that, man. Sorry about that. And then uh, that'll be my turn. Okay. All right. That's the end of your turn. <clears throat> um. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm gonna activate my Ronin. Yeah, fuck it. Coming to you again. Roll the fuck up. Creating difficult terrain. That's what I'm doing. Uh, Not gonna consume this lock on. I'm just gonna do this regular. Because I get an accuracy on the carbon fiber blade anyways. That's 17. That's another 4 damage on Argo. Another echo mark and then the end of the Ronin's turn. Uh, and now it's player activation. Hmm. You killed the Ronin, bro. You're the best at shooting that thing by a wide margin. Everybody oh. else is going to need to roll like a 19 uh, to hit it. <laughs> want me, you want me to shoot the Ronin? Yes, please. Uh, With your smart guns. Okay. Use oh. your fucking intelligent, wicked smart ass guns. Also, let me just check something here. Let's go wall the rest of us real hard. I think that's the only target I'm going to have this turn, though. Oh, actually... here I could shoot two different people so I'm not gonna do Pollock this turn okay move to here okay very good that's perfect and then I'm gonna go ahead and fire I'm gonna, uh, actually, let me think about this. I'm gonna overcharge. Okay, that's, um, a D3. Yeah, a D3. Yep. Yeah. That's three. three maximum. You're in the danger zone. Hell yeah, brother. All right, um, fucking yes, brother. <laughs> uh, that's fine. No problems there. Uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna lock on to the Ronin. All right, Ronin locked on to. Yep, and then we're gonna go ahead and fire the Gendiva. And are you consuming that one? Yes, I am. Okay. D six accuracy, two of them, I believe, because Gendiva's accurate. Yes. All right, roll ahead. Sixteen hits, um, reaction, deflection. I'm gonna deflect this fucking Gandiva back in your face, I swear to god. Woo! Yeah, there we go. Um, can you I get half damage or resistance to the damage if you could roll it real quick, and then when you're done rolling damage, I need you to roll to hit yourself. Okay. All 
right, eight damage reduced to four. Now roll to hit yourself. Why are you hitting yourself? Uh, fucking hate Ronins. <laughs> when I when I uh, roll to hit myself, is that like with all of my accuracy bonuses too? Yep, except for the lock on, because the lock on was on Ronin. So yes, you have accurate against yourself. What's your E defense? Is it good? Is it good? Uh, not really. It's eight. All right. Well, just uh, don't hit yourself. Roll bad. <laughs> okay, you crit yourself, so roll 2d6, uh, 4d6, keep highest 2, plus 3. <laughs> Genji play of the game. Like that, there we go. 11. Okay, yeah. Ele <laughs> oh, 10. So of armor. it's 11 and then plus 3, right? So that's 14 damage. Uh, that, uh, is that, oh, did I not put the plus 3? No, you didn't. So oh, that's okay, 14 okay. reduced to 13. All right, I'm alive on 1. Nice, <laughs> nice. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Once brace? Per, wait, this is a weird, this is a weird situation. Uh, can I activate Avenger Silos off of the crit on myself to deal three damage to a different character? Avenger Silos. Yes. Let's run on a critical hit with any ranged weapon the monarch may deal three explosive damage to a different character of your choice within range 15. Yeah, yeah. Do you want right, to do it to the Ronin? Yeah, we're going to do that a three automatic to the Ronin. That's fucking fantastic. Love that. <laughs> That's great. That's, it's very weird indeed. Uh... All right, and then we did the damage to the Ronin too, right? Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, Ronin's about, right. uh, about bloodied. Bloodied, got it. Um. <laughs> did they reduce their damage when when uh, they reflect deflected yes. the shot? Yep, yep, yep. They take half so damage on that deflect. I think I think seeking payload gets through that. Because I used the lock on to hit it. Oh, yes. It cannot be reduced. They still bounce it back, but it couldn't have been reduced. So I'm going to put another four damage into him. Yeah, he is proper bloodied now. Proper bloodied now? Thank you okay. for, for pointing that one out. I would have forgotten. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of weird things happening here. <laughs> um, all right. Now, I guess I'm just going to shoot the Shranga missile. Monarch is best known for being extremely effective when killing themselves. Oh, uh, yes. Hey, those free entry salvos were really good, man. That's value right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Did, uh... <laughs> no, no, no. Surely Brutal th doesn't have anything to do with what happened here, right? Because... Um... um... <laughs> You shouldn't have fucking pointed that out. Um, that's gonna structure me, but I think that might kill the Ronin if it does count. Well, you didn't crit the Ronin. But I. Uh, okay, so I crit. So I, I don't know. So does it count when I crit myself? Well, wait, was it an? Oh no, no, it wasn't a natural. 20, oh, it wasn't a natural. Right? 20. Yeah, that's yeah, right. okay. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> but you did knock yourself back one. Yes. Also, I think I could use Stormbringer here too. Yes, you certainly can use Stormbringer on yourself and, and fucking... <laughs> knock myself back three more spaces? <laughs> no. Uh, well, um, it would... Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, well the thing is, is I, I don't actually think... But what I do want to do is I want to Stormbringer, uh, I want to Stormbringer, um, Thunder, I think. Yeah, Stormbringer Thunder, the, uh, the, uh, Ronin, to knock it back one, and then everything... It's also or, sorry. because of the first tier of Stormbringer. Yes. Exactly. Sweet, that means I can walk past him. I also... Pushes up my torrent die. All right, now I think I can shoot my um, Sharanga missile. Right. And I'm just going to shoot one at the Ronin uh, and one at the 
So these guys are invisible down Correct. here? So you need to roll a d2 before you um, attack them to see if you can even attack them. Okay. I can only hit the uh, the one standing on top of the cover? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Shrinking missiles are arcing, though, so you could hit him, but... Oh, yeah. Range. Range. Okay. Wait. I'm sorry. Was I supposed to say... <laughs> I just rolled 1d2 and didn't say... I'm supposed to say highs or lows, aren't I? No, no, no. It's always going to be one as you miss. Okay, so I hit. Yep. All right, so now I could roll the attack. I'm going to do the uh, one on the bottom first. All right. Since I rolled it anyways. <laughs> Which one? On, on the bottom? You the, uh, sorry. Uh... The archer. Okay. The archer, yes. And I think it's just uh, like no no uh, accuracy, no difficulty, correct? Yep. You don't. Yeah, it's even. It's even for you. It's even, Steven, right now. Twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. Roll damage. Oh, it's just three in it. Which sure Yeah, it's, it's three. Yeah, it's just three. Okay. And your next attack on the runner. Yep. Now, what's the story here? I think this one has difficulty, right? Um, no. Actually, you have accuracy because they've been knocked prone. Ah, okay. Well, I actually would even out because they're in soft cover, so just roll it flat. Okay. Sorry, I keep hitting you with actuallys. All right, that's so a three. crit. So you roll that three twice and you get a three. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. Is that your whole turn, Sidewinder? Uh... Yes. <laughs> yes. Wait, was that? I'm going to activate my archer. Sensor's 15. I'll lock on to Caliban. No, I didn't. I already locked on to Caliban. Uh, if, you're, if I'm in 15, you're in 15. Me, aren't you? Okay, I'll lock on the monarch. Yes. I'll try and search for, um, I'm, I'm going to try and search for, I'm going to search for seven as a quick action. Okay, roll higher than a four. Uh, I have four agility, so I cannot roll it. Okay, awesome. I end the uh, archer's turn. Argo or Phoenix, you're up. Uh... <laughs> You should go before me because I want to hit the seeker. Uh, I think that just. Yeah, okay. I don't think yeah. I can. So, where are you Question How far is the uh, movement of RAM from side me? It's, uh, it's adjacent, so you must be adjacent to the, your RAM target. Think of it as like a melee attack. It's a knockback one, and it knocks them prone. Wait, aside. <laughs> What? I, I, I'm just looking the frame for the cap and it's a small cap cap because I want to put it on that. Yeah, yeah. So, so that just means that, okay, so usually when you're ramming or um, swinging for knockback, 
you have to be the same size or larger in order to actually do anything. Uh, Caliban is half sized, so that trait just means that they can push whoever the fuck they want. Okay. I am going to do two here. Okay. And then I am going to try and my chakra on the bottom right next to me. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna have your for the rod. Fuel rod gun, you said? Uh, this gun. My, uh, flyer shotgun. Oh, your flare. Okay, yeah, roll the hit then. You have an accuracy because they're prone? And I have an inaccuracy where one in a. Well, you're uh, both in the soft cover, so you're fine. Uh, uh, I both had. So it would just be an accuracy. The mighty 1d20 plus 2. So when you crit, which is just rolling above a 20 or a 20 or above, you uh, you roll the damage dice twice. So on a flare shotgun, that's uh, yeah, Thir 13 Rough. hits. So yeah, just just roll damage. Uh, I believe Faceless lost connection, but they said give me a moment. <sighs> uh, Ronan has 2 HP. The Flare Shocking can't roll below that, so it's dead. Can someone please put Hello? Can you hear okay. me? Okay. Right. Yeah. So you killed the Ronin. Because your minimum damage would kill it. Yeah, I mean, your minimum damage would just do it. And then it gets knocked back, like, one over okay. here. So you can pursue prey just to get a little more movement if you want. Yeah, I was going to say that. Going to super attack, not attack, do you like it? Mm -hmm. uh, he hits the cover before he goes off. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that your turn? Okay. Um. 
Yeah, as a quick action. I thought you did just boost because you you ran off to the to the right. Pursue Prey follows the character you knocked back. So that you would be here. You could then boost and then move like all the way over here. That puts you within range of starting to roll up on the on the archer. Or you could just end your turn like in like the soft cover of the smoke and the grass over here. Right, right, you have more agility than I than is on my screen. Then you could Yeah, you could get anywhere from around over here. Okay. Is that gonna be it for you? Uh, you would need to overcharge. You've already used both quick actions. <clears throat> but you absolutely can on your next turn. Okay, we're overcharging, baby. That's three, bringing you up to a D6. Uh, where are you dropping this uh, cover? Just ping it for me? Yeah, that works perfectly. And is that the end of your turn? Yes. All right, awesome. Uh, activate Phoenix Scout. Or Albatross Scout, what am I saying? I'm just reading all things. Um, they are mobilized in that little spot right now. So, um... Get within range five, fuckers. I want to rebound scan you. All right, I'll bolster the Albert, uh, the archer, and then end my turn. And now it's Phoenix. I'm gonna walk up, stabilize, clear heat. I think that's about it. All right. So you clear your heat as a full action, and you take your movement, you said? Yep. Should be here. All right. Perfection. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, can I end that lock-on when I do that as well? No. Oh, um, actually, I think you can end a condition like lock-on on a stabilize. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gone. You are no longer shredded. Oop, that's the wrong icon. Okay. There's so many icons on you. I'm sorry. I lost um, your, uh, your little power. Icon. They all have those names. They're my friends, bro. Why are you taking them away from I'm me? sorry. <laughs> um, let's see, your turn. Not little wrench, dude. End of yeah, round my... two, beginning of round three, reinforcements. I, you know what? Let's... <sighs> I want to run at them more. I'm not going to run at them more. Yeah, go ahead. All right, uh, the Albatross Scout and Assault come in over here on the right side. I'm going to activate my Archer, <clears throat> and I'm going to, as a quick action, um, dismiss this. Uh, I am going to, as a quick action, use Suppress on you, Phoenix. You are impaired while suppressed. And um, I get the moving target reaction. Um, if I move lasts, at all, I take. Hmm? If I move at all, I get shot. Yeah, the effect lasts until the archer uses moving target. The target damages the archer or leaves the archer's line of sight. The archer is stunned, jammed, or destroyed. The archer chooses a new target for this action, or the archer ends as a free action. So wait, 
I can walk up to him and hit him and it ends the effect. It's just yeah, like a but focus. if you start walking up to me, I'm going to shoot you and end the effect anyways. Okay. And then as a quick action, I'm going to take a shot at um, the Caliban at two difficulty. Uh, is it within range? Yes, you're in, you're in range 10. Yeah, you're in, you're in range 10. You're in hard cover, so it's double difficulty. But I do believe uh, 12 hits. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yes, indeed. So that's three damage. So on a structure. Right, so on a structure, you need to roll a d6 to uh, to see what the effect of the structure is, and it gets progressively worse the, uh, the more structures you experience. Um, it Wait, flowed over a one and puts you at a nine out of ten. You you're you're structured, right? You took uh, you took three damage. You had two HP. Uh, no, I had. Uh, I said eight got much more. Uh, how much HP are you at right now? Wait, trust trust the DM's HP. He's been disconnected uh, for twenty seconds, so like he's probably gonna miss something when he's coming in and out. Uh, and from my point of view, I should be at five. Uh, what's your total HP? Just to make sure I have the right uh, sheet. Okay. Ten? Okay. Um, you took damage uh, from Ronin's three times and now are getting shot for five again. I think that does structure you. I think oh, you, you missed yeah. I think you missed when the five with the armor. Well with armor it reduces to three and on my screen you only had two HP left. Because you, uh, you had taken three damage, or sorry, four damage a piece twice, which is eight, and then another two. Which is nine. Well, wait, what? Doesn't the armor do three? Yeah, it does. So damage I'm shooting with five kinetic. Not armor piercing. It's not armor piercing. So five kinetic reduced yeah, by I'm two. Yeah, I'm talking about two I'm talking about the row. No, yeah, no, they didn't do any armor piercing damage either. They they did um six damage with their sword, reduced to four, and you got hit twice. Uh, I, I I misunderstood your words. From, oh, okay, yeah, I'm uh, sorry. Your wording, I, I was doing the I, I was doing the armor pier, uh, the armor math first without mentioning it. That's my bad. Because usually I'll just tell you what the value is after armor, because I'm just fucking thinking ahead. No, I, I I understand now. But yeah, that would put you at a 9 out of 10 HP on your first structure. So what we need to do is roll a d6 to determine the effect of the structure um, on a value of 2 to 5. Uh, 2 to 5? Okay, on a 6 you're just impaired. Yeah. And then we just move on from there. And that's going to be the end of the archer's turn. And that's player activation. So they are. I have a tool. A book to do a job. Yeah, please get away from me so I can pop seek him out eventually. Yeah, alright. Yeah, go ahead. Uh. Do you think maybe I should shoot the uh, the other thingy that turns uh, everybody invisible before it activates that? The uh, the scout. That would uh, be a plan, yeah. Unless does somebody else have a uh, move they'd rather do? Uh, Argo was talking about going. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
We can't hear you, bro. You gotta just type. Pretend like you're. Yeah, I was about to say if you wanna if you wanna just use the chat for now, that would that would uh, probably speed things up just a little bit. Just so that it, it helps both ways, because I am having a lot of trouble okay. understanding you. Who else would like to go? Argo, you're not you're not prepared. Um. Sevens, no, uh, be a monarch, either one of you. Yeah, Sevens, please walk away from me. I want to hit Seek Emit eventually. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I kind of want to go later because everyone's buddied up. I could go now and hope, like, Argo, are you ready? Yeah, he's typing. All right, maybe he's going. He moves, he shotguns. He sounds like R2D2 on a good day. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> oh, you rolled custom paint job. Yes, that puts you at one HP. Okay. I see now. Uh, fuck. Right, okay. Fuck, okay. That was an hour ago. <laughs> Um, right, 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 right. I misunderstood what that six was. I just thought that was glancing below. Um, yeah, you're not impaired then. Uh, stabilizing to do what? Are you going to consume, um, some repairs to bring yourself back up to full HP? Is that the plan? If you're going to use your turn to stabilize, I think somebody else might want to go first. But you might get pegged by the archers again. Or not the archer, the uh, the assault. Who also has a reliable weapon? I mean, he's at one HP and stabilizing and walking away from me. That's pretty valid. The monarch wants to wait. One guy is hidden, so he. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, go for it. Uh, like, don't walk in front of me. If you walk in front of me, then my mech goes berserk mode and eats you. Like, if you end your turn there, I'm just gonna, you're just gonna get eaten, guy. Don't end your turn there. <laughs> go away. <laughs> You might want to try going this direction towards the assault and scout to uh, skirmish with them. So that um, Phoenix has a clear, just straight line into these buffers. Uh, I did not move my piece intentionally. I don't know why that happened. Or did somebody move me to uh, that I don't point? think I did. Uh, I have no idea. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 we're experiencing ghosts in the machine today. Uh, yes, because I am not touching my phone at the moment. I'm just moving on its own. All, all I want to do is consume some of the news. Okay, yeah, and, and stabilize. At, yeah, you stabilize your full heat. Do you want to use your standard movement to go in, like, this direction towards these other two that just dropped and stay in the zone and get away from the uh, Epikai who's about to go uh, rage. Yeah, sure. Alright, we'll call that the turn. Player activation. No, not player activation, sorry. My activation. I'm gonna activate my second scout. I'm gonna take two movement to get up here to the size one cover. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Move here. Um, full action rebound scan. All characters of the scout's choice within range 5 must make a system save. On failure, they immediately lose hidden and invisible and can't regain the status or benefit from any cover until the start of the scout's next turn. So, can I see a uh, system save from you, Seven? That's a 12. I believe that beats it. Yep. Alright. Save or suck, and you've saved. Oh yeah. Now my now my scout's out of fucking position. All right. Uh, ending my turn. Uh, player activation. Playwright, do you want to turn that scout into a fucking slag? I would. Okay. Uh. Nope, I'm not. Um. Uh, <clears throat> 
Scared? I will skirmish. Fly three. To one. Okay. Actually. Yeah, I will skirmish. I have faith in myself. Okay, you lose hidden. Are you forcing saves? Uh, yes. I do have good systems, but I also have shitty luck, so let's see. Yeah, let's do the line of sight one first. Line of sight one first, so we can suck my good rolls out. Okay, I am. I can only see to adjacent spaces. Now let's see if I am exposed till the end of your turn. That's a failure, I believe. Or was it 10? Yep. Uh, my save is 12. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so yeah, you, um, I'm exposed, and I can no longer see all right, come on, big money with the knives. That's an 11 to hit. I do believe that hits us, a scout. Um, oh, no, it misses by one. Rip. So uh, four knife? Four also misses. Okay. Uh, I will four for charge again. Okay. Uh, so I'm at six. Yep, roll d6. I think you're at one out of six right now. Yep. No, uh, danger slow. Not matters. Matters to me personally, emotionally. Okay. That's, a that's what I want. Roll another. Roll a D three. Okay. See, see and then I'm gonna off, off cow and thermal charge this. Okay. Okay. So uh, forty. Five, so, yeah, four two. D six key points. Yep. Five. So that's 12 damage in total. And 12 then, damage uh, total. That's a dead scout. Nice. And then I will move. And because I lost hidden, I can move up to my speed. Mm -hmm. I will move like so. I will hide again okay and then you'll hide again as a quick action you said you have one of those left yep all right yeah i only skirmished right 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 right, right. you just you just <laughs> nice good turn good turn i just have mega skirmishes the fucking hardest skirmishes in the fucking game um i'll activate my assault mm, no mm, yeah i'll activate my assault And I'm going to drop my scout drone as quick action. This uh this is dead, right? Yes, yes it is. Sorry, let me mark it off. So, um, my scout drone, the, uh, the drone creates a burst to perimeter within which characters cannot benefit from invisible or hide and lose these conditions if they have them. The mercenary also gains plus one accuracy when attacking characters in this area. And the, the assault is going to take a... Hmm. Yeah, I have to skirmish. I'm going to skirmish with my assault rifle. My heavy assault rifle. Against the monarchy. The monarchy, yeah. Can it? Can target me? I'm invisible. Oh, uh, not anymore. I dropped the scout drone. Oh, uh, okay. I brought a scout in my, in my back pocket, just in case I lost the first one. Oh, that actually <laughs> hits. Yeah, 18 to hit, and that is 6 damage, 6 kinetic. So that's half health. Yep. Don't get hit again. Okay. It's my face. And that's the assault's turn. Yeah, I'm gonna end it there. Now it is Phoenix or Sidewinder. Wait. I have a question really quick. It's it probably is. not my turn, but hmm? what are these guys hiding in and how long does this smoke bomb last? Uh, it lasted till the end of um, 
the fucking playwright's turn, so it's gone. Yes. They are not hiding. They are invisible because of the scouts and like uh, invisibility array. So if you kill the scout, you uh, stop them from being invisible, but you'd have to deal with them invisible first. Okay, that sucks. I thought he was hiding in the smoke so I could pop seeking it, but nope. All right. What does that drone do? Um, it's a scout drone. Um, uh, you can't benefit from hidden or um, you can't benefit from hidden or invisibility while within its burst two perimeter. And also, I get an accuracy when shooting characters within it. You so, these guys. Uh, um, I'd have soft cover, wouldn't I? It's the range oh, attack. It would just even out then. Would a fourteen still hit? No. No. Okay, then keep your health. Keep and your my goddamn health. Is- But uh, it's, it's still like what reliable too. Oh yeah, too? it's like too 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 reliable. Okay. Yeah, too reliable. Keep some of your health. So Sidewinder or Phoenix, who wants it? Do you want to go here, Sidewinder? Uh, if I um, I could potentially hit these uh, scout. And then knock the uh, assault closer to you. I don't know if that helps. You can knock me at them too if you want. Well, I would have to. The only way I could do that is if I actually just straight up shoot you, though. I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Me. Look at how much life I have. I'm yeah, not using yeah. this life. I don't know if it's. Uh, so, like, you would shoot me, I get knocked back, what, three? Mm-hmm. Well, well, the thing is, you would only get knocked back if, um, if I crit you or if I use my. Stormbringer, then yeah, I could, I could knock you. If I did hit you, I could knock you back uh, three toward them, and then I this would get knocked back through. This is the most broke ass fucking puppet systems I've ever seen. If you, if you were to do that, I would still see the. Actually, no, that's behind a wall, isn't it? Yep. All yeah, right, a half you, size. That's a half size. Yep, yep. So it'd be yeah. Oh. Maybe be, be hit him. All do right. you want me? Do you want me to hit you with I mean, you my? Can see the monarch, uh, but- Make sure that you're more than seven spaces away well, from you, wherever you orbit, you know, like, because if well, you're here. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I shoot you with the Sharanga and I activate Stormbringer, then I get knocked back three anyways. Yeah, yeah. And, so then, you get, that's and then you get knocked if, forward. If you turn Seek Emit on, like, that's play of the game alone. Because if I were to activate right now, it would just kill the team. And most, like, permutations I'm running in my head end that way, too. It's kind of hard to turn Can your on. teammate, like, choose to... Um, fail yes they could choose to fail a roll yeah mm-hmm. all right how about that then <laughs> so how about this i will barrage okay. right and um i'm gonna barrage and then i'm gonna just hit you with the uh with the second part of the barrage okay sound good yep all right uh the other thing though is do i want to activate claw luck if I'm immobilized, if I'm immobilized, do I still get moved by uh, knockback? Immobilized means you can't take voluntary movement. Okay, so I actually could take paw lock then I think. Yeah. I would take heat, but that's all right. It would give you a better chance at killing that motherfucking. You'll yeah, be safe from me if you knock me back. You won't have to move anymore if you don't want to. All right, let's try this cracked ass play because it sounds fun. All right, so claw lock, you take two. You're at seven out of eight heat. Seven out of eight heat. I'm going to target. I'm going to barrage, uh, targeting the scout that is invisible. Um, they're at range sixteen. Oh, okay, that's fine. I could. Well, that's okay. I could shoot at. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That is a problem. You still shoot the archer. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I don't. Then claw lock doesn't make much sense. Well, you. Because mm. then there's nothing else to shoot. I can't wait. Can I hit this? Guy? Nope. Okay, I don't. I guess I won't paw lock then. There's no point. There's no because okay. the point of paw lock is if you miss, you can shoot somebody else in range. All right. Then do you just want to step step forward and use Sharinga missiles to attack two targets at a time? Uh, well, what I think I'm gonna do first, honestly, is I'm gonna just shoot. Uh, shoot. Uh, I'm just gonna barrage first, and then um, hmm, let's think about this. Yeah, yeah, barrage first, because then I could always just move at the end of the at, at the end of me getting knocked back, anyways, uh-huh. right? Yep. Yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll just do that. So let me uh let me do barrage, but I'm gonna start with the Gandiva, the archer. Okay. 
Uh, so roll a d2. All right, that will right, hit. Nice. So roll, roll the hit now. This is uh, accurate and smart and CP right. and all that. Yep, yep, yep. Roll them. My vision and my E defense are the same. I have no weaknesses except for the fact that both of them are eight. All right, roll damage. Love That accuracy is putting in work. Eleven damage. That accuracy is clocking in for <laughs> fucking um, eight hours of work a day. All right. Yep. Um, and then yeah, second uh, skirmish going into uh, going into the uh, the what, what is that? Epikai. Epikai. <laughs> and I guess he could just choose to fail, right? Yep. Yep. All right. So you take. How much damage. damage do I take though? You three. take three damage. <laughs> I have one armor. And then they get knocked forward three, all right. And then you get knocked back three. Like that? <laughs> yeah, that a, a little, just one more forward. Wait, where, here? Uh, yeah, yeah, that works, that works. Either one of those, yeah. I'm confused because I'm a triangle, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, size twos get a little tricky with their knockback. This is fine. I just want to be in the green. Um, and then I, I still company. have a, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking joke, stupid fucking joke. Uh, that does give me a Stormbringer die. Yep. <clears throat> or bring me closer to Torrent, I guess. Yeah. And I have a move left, right? You um, have your movement left, but you're barraging. So are you done barraging? Yeah, because I had Gandavid and then I shot the Sharanga. Into... Okay, then yeah, then just, uh, then just move, yeah. Hell yeah. Play the game. If I move here, I'm still okay, right? Or am I not? That's seven hexes. No, no, no. no you need to be oh, you're right. Something. You're right, you're right. Plus you're tall as hell. Once I engage, I sh it should be safer to walk up. Yeah, maybe you could chill. I don't know. Go a turn. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just bump up one more closer. That's okay. all. That's, that's, that's it. Yeah. That's it. I think if you end on top of this piece of terrain, you still Gucci, and then you have like a good field of view over the battlefield. Maybe. Only, the, well, the only thing is, I want to be in cover. Okay. Because I am literally on one HP. So it, they'll shoot. They'll be shooting at me pretty goddamn soon. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter regardless because I can't reach you. I have like a range of ten, not like fucking fifteen like you. So well, yeah, that's a good right. point. Is that the end of your turn, Sidewinder? That's fine. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. All right. I activate my. My albatross scout. Mm. Mm. Uh, same same plan as before. I'll just bolster um, the archer, then end my turn. So it's Phoenix's turn. Let's go. Engage, seek a net. Normal move, five spaces. We barrage. Okay. They are hidden. Invisible, you mean? Invisible, yes, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> we barrage. We get hot. We're super hot fire. Uh, are you uh, doing the... Which, which one are you attacking? The sh one with the gun is bolstered, right? So we're going to attack yes. the other one. Okay, attacking the scout. 1d2. Oh, right, sorry. Let me take a reaction real quick. Um, from the archer, from your movement, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna use moving target, uh, and I'm gonna hit right. you with a single attack, the light machine gun, and I get two accuracy because I get an accuracy for using an Overwatch, and then another accuracy for being uh, adjacent to my scout. So that's plus two, plus two d6, kh1. Um, that's a 16 to hit for five kinetic, reduced to four. That's my, turn. That's, that's my turn out of my turn. My now, keyboard now, decided. Uh, now roll that D2 for me, please. My keyboard's going all stiff on me. This is getting weird. Is there like a hairball in here? There's a hairball Four. in our hearts. This is what happens when you take so much friendly fire. <laughs> 
one, four. Okay, good job, keyboard. Hang in there, buddy. All right, roll one D. Okay, automatic miss on the first one. Okay, now we get no mercy. It's my character sheet. Cooperate with me, please, technology. Rule 20 is not made to be to be cooperative. Oh, you took CS. Nice. Backswing cut. All right. So we're going to swing at the other guy. Well, you missed. Ah. Uh, oh, other thing. Oh, wait, yeah, you're using... Yeah. Rank I knew that. I knew that there was one that did that. I was just... Uh, I guess their target within... Yeah, so roll another D2. God damn it. All right, we get a free skirmish because we're seeking it. Actually, uh, we swing, we miss, we miss. No fun allowed. <laughs> we will swing a nano carbon sword with seek emit at this guy. At the archer? All right. Well, we took two. And probably get another one. Oh, no. All right, I'm an angry baby, all exposed and defenseless. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, bro. That's my turn. <laughs> okay, that's the end of round three, beginning of round four. Uh, NPC activation first. <coughs> Excuse me. Stoner. Yeah, sorry. I'm just, I've just been hitting it all day. And I'm asthmatic. I don't know why I keep doing it. No, the, the, for me, the sativa helps my asthma. I couldn't run a fucking mile before I started smoking pot. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to activate my archer, and I'm going to use a quick action to suppress... Um, I'm going to use a quick action to suppress... Uh, fucking, Do I suppress uh, me again? To suppress playwright, actually, and then I'm going to skirmish with Phoenix. For 12? 12 hit? Yeah. That's another 4. Okay, I'll take another 3. Well, I know, 4 after armor. Or adjust it, okay. Sorry. And that's the end of the archer's turn. Who wants to go? In Phoenix, you want revenge? I just went and missed me. Oh, no, I was the end of the round, wasn't yeah. I? Yep. Yeah. So beginning of round four, there's one round left. You have we Taliban have to... in, the, in the play zone. Okay, we have to control the pink square, right? Big yep. In the middle. Yeah, we'll try again, bro. Why not? We're in here. This way we go before Steve commit like each my own team. So we'll do the <laughs> do last time. And we'll swing at the guy with the invisibility aura. Okay, let's go. Uh, I go exactly to the danger zone. Well, you took four from firing the uh, button. Yeah. Thing last turn, so you're at heat cap, ain't you? I'm a heat cap, you're right, you're right. That's what I meant to say. That was both. We hit All him. All right, roll the hit. This is on the scout, right? Yep. Uh, do an eight hit. Eight misses. Okay. We get... Backswing cut. No, no mercy. No mercy into the other guy. Okay. One D. Two... And we miss again. Oh my um, god. Swing with the free seek emit skirmish with the nano carbon sword. Okay. <laughs> okay I need to roll with you. Oh, it had reliable? Yeah, last turn I had reliable. It reliable, it still ignores, ignores uh, invisible. Yes. I should have done three free damage last turn. On the archer. Uh, let's see if this hits, though. It does not hit. It dodges so, dead regardless, because of uh, Reliable. I was thinking, man, if only they had Reliable last turn. <laughs> I guess we move up and just get up in his grill. That's what Seekimit would probably do. What would uh, Seekimit do? And the answer Seekimit is would bite this thing's fucking head off. Seekimit says it's time to overturn. <laughs> We take three heat. Roll d6 for me. Yep, we stress. We are Spoons? impaired? Impaired. No. 
think so. Uh, we're impaired. Da, 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 da. We check for cascade, which I never, ever, ever do, and should have been doing for a million years. We don't cascade. Okay. And then we swing again with impaired at the invisible guy. First the invisible check. All right, roll the hit. Roll the hit this fucker. Nope. Six misses, but reliable three. All right. What else? Reliable three is like a third of a time. One more time? A reliable three is like a third of a health. Uh, Also, one more thing happened. When I crit... (laughs) The uh, guy I didn't hit. Mm-hmm. I think I get this. Yeah. Which would hit the spotter guy. Yep. So they are at two HP right now. <clears throat> All right. I can't finish him off. That is everything. I am impaired for the rest of existence. Till you die. Till you die. Um, yep. I have a scout and an assault. Um, the scout's just gonna hold still and pray and pray and pray. Um, the assault is going to... Move and boost. Into the objective. And then take a shot with their heavy assault rifle at Phoenix. Hey, stop fucking dancing in front of my friend. They don't really know what you're doing because you keep missing. 17 to hit, that is 6 kinetic, reduced by 1 to 5. What the, What is that even going to do, really, to a god with a fucking million and then one fucking uh, heat cap? Or not heat cap, but uh, HP. And that is the end of the assault's turn, player activation. Who wants it? You can get a cow, man. to throw a spike grenade at him. Okay. So give me a save on that. An agility save. It's a one. Oh, and that's a one. No, no, no. I mean, I have plus one to my agility. Twelve. That's uh, a myth. It was fail. thirteen. All right. Uh, roll damage. No, uh, not yet. Okay. Now, because the spike grenade, and that is me activating it whenever I want to. It's now just stuck on his armor. Okay. Now I'm going to throw a hex pattern grenade out. Okay. Yeah, throw that, and then I, I roll another one. Uh, yes. Six is another failure. Roll damage. Okay, so it's the one we Okay. I put R D six and not R one D six. Yeah. Four damage. So that's um, four reduced damage. to three. Now? Yeah. So now I am activating the spike uh, grenade today. So that will be an extra one D six plus three. And he gets knocked back three spaces. Okay, so you're ending your turn to activate that. Yes. Take six and he gets thrown back. Reduced to five. (laughs) It's just funny. He runs into the objective and instantly gets blown out of it. Instantly gets his fucking shit blown out. Uh, you could pursue prey off of that and move three into the objective. Well, more like three would be like two, three. Yeah. I'm gonna do that and just get into the. Alright, alright. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Alright, end of your turn. Beginning of my scout's turn. <clears throat> Hey, hey, big, hey, big man. I know you don't. Yo. I know you don't. This isn't who you are. Fuck Albatross. Get out of my way. 
I forget how I forgot how cloaking field works. This should not have lasted as long as it did. This is over. Wow. Please forgive me. Um, I hate full action disengage. Can I interrupt that? Or is that like immune to It's immune to reactions, that's what it is. I think Oh, I wanna grab from the business. One, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's my turn to leave. We have playwright and sidewinder left. Playwright, do you wanna clap this dude? Question. Yeah. Is this combat going to end as soon as these two units are dead? Or is yes. there like a... Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing after these two. I'm worried about Sikuma eating the team or something. No, I think I think you guys will be just fine. Uh, Seven, are you there? You're muted? Yes. All right. You want to take this? You want to take this? Okay. Let's go... Which one? Scout or the assault? I'll let the... Scout's really hurt. Left. You could probably just sneeze on it. You know what? I don't... Oh, yeah, he's at 2 HP, bro. You can flink him with a knife, and as long as you hit him, he'll die. Yeah, I could throw knives. Yeah. So, uh... You don't have any nice hidden throw. bonuses, but you can just do normal skirmishing. Okay, so I'll throw my, uh... Ox knife, so no bonus damage. This... Very... That hits. Reroll that D three. There we go. Dead. And then I'll throw my real knife at uh, the fellow. Okay. Wait, do you want to teleport? Yeah, you did. Uh, it. yeah. Let's let's teleport. Just out of the silly zone. Out of the silly zone. Out of my goofy zone. Okay, I see. I see how it is. Yeah, the and then, uh, <coughs> wait, am I still within range 5? Yes. 11 hits, 2 kinetic, reduced to 1. And then I will, uh, use my last thermal charge and up count. Okay. 7 damage, that's dead. That's just enough. Baller. And that's the end of the combat. And I hide and run away from the Empikai. <laughs> Everybody get red, 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 red fucking lives! Um, <laughs> everybody get the fuck out of here! <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that completes the encounter. Um, yeah, we're done. I start laying down all the mines in a path between me and him. <laughs> you just fucking start playing. I don't think it'll work. You play BTD6, basically. Uh, <laughs> so, um, that's the end Just of the with well, what y'all, what y'all think? Uh, it was good. It was fun. Uh, the dice bullied me there in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Dice, dice were real dirty, Ted. But at least they came through when I, I wanted to funny grenade moment. Yeah, you should have taken. You should have taken the demolitionist. Honestly, swapped out engineer for some yeah. demolitionist levels. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it was uh, originally my plan. I'm like, no, I put more weapons on this thing. See what would happen. Mm. Also, uh, the first guy I attacked with my, uh, the first guy I attacked with my uh, rocket launcher. I forgot because of nuclear cavalier. I had to. I forgot to also add a one d six to that. Mm, all right. Were you in the danger zone? Uh, no. Nuclear cavalier is like the first round of combat on the first attack that hits. It's then adds a one d six. No, that's that's uh, only when you're in the danger energy one d. Yeah, the first, the first, uh, the first weapon attack you make while in the danger zone is a bonus d6 of energy damage. You gotta heat up. You gotta. Oh, so what's up. the danger zone? Uh, it's when you're above half your heat cap. Or equal. Oh. Yeah, half or equal, half uh, or more I, than I, your heat cap. Yeah. See, I, I can say that. that one. 
good. What do, you, what do you think of the Epikai? Um, I didn't take Containment Specialist 3 because I figured everything would be dead by the time I get to my protocol phase, and I was yeah. kind of correct about that. Yeah. I was really slow. I wish I took Grip Shot or Pankrati 2 to get into range, but Executioner was too juicy to pass up. Executioner was pretty juicy. Like, it's so like, this thing is spooky, and it just gets stronger as it gets more talents. It doesn't oh, really yeah. need, like... Oh, yeah, Epikai is a real motherfucker. Uh, this is my first time, actually... I Last time I saw Epikai, I was playing Epikai, and it was so worse than it is now. But also, So much more overpowered. What did he lose? No, it was worse. It was really bad, actually. It was but, weaker. It was, way, it was way weaker. But also, it's a sucker save mech, so that just happens. Yeah. Um, Do you think I should have just been walking up and grappling people? You could have been. You can play it either which way. Um, you, you did basically what you're supposed to do on an Epikai, which is fucking slap your massive fucking fist around and fucking yeah. and hull check these stupid bastards. There were a lot of points where it looked like I wasn't going to get a turn, and then we made it happen. Yeah. Thank you to the monarch for shooting me. <laughs> Like that was That's the only reason. I could use that was yeah. my. That was like my uh, Sun Tzu like uh, cosplay with uh, with the monarch. Uh, teleport yeah. your teammates around. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, Seven, what do you think of the Monakia or the the Monakia? Um, I think that uh, I think it could use a main ox mount. Uh, because. The other GMS, if they don't have a heavy, they have a main ox. Right. Uh, it used to be the dual main oxes, but then I swapped to the dual. Yeah, that's too much. It was too much. Listen, I, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know any any self control. Did you do the exposed thing at all? You like tried to do it, it once. once? Yeah, got it once. Yeah, just once. Because in uh, in theory that should be like a shitload of that. Yeah, that's that's why I I hesitate to give it a main a main ox again. You know what? That's fair. Uh, it is sucker save, but also like you save, you suck quite a lot sometimes. You know, sometimes the world just as a DM, you just keep sucking. Um, if if uh, you replace the fold <laughs> knives with something that, that does dedicated damage, like comet punches or whatever, you just printed the right hand of doom, the pinky finger of justice, whatever that thing is. Like <laughs> the pinky finger of justice will make crack damage on an exposed person. Just fucking whip out an Ikawa. Dual it was. Oh, uh, I would have. You uh, were moving around though, like as somebody who was, was kind of moving. slow. I, I played Zeng before. The token I'm using was my Zeng. When I found a way to deviate something once a turn, every turn, that was kind of boring. Actually, it was fun. <laughs> um, but you were moving yeah. around a lot. Like I was jealous of your movement systems. And oh yeah, seven movement plus moving when I lose hidden. That's really good you were uh, is that it. infiltrator yeah yeah infiltrator three whenever you lose head and you move up to your speed 12 base uh, evasion holy shit yeah it reminds me of like morning cloak or atnis stats but speaking of morning cloak tactical she changed the wording similar to morning's cloak uh hunter ability uh i'm not familiar with morning cloak's hunter ability <laughs> uh it basically does the same thing um, where the Morning Cloak does a D6 damage if right no... if there's any yeah right right I remember to swap it out to if there's any characters adjacent to it that's any anybody other than the Monica yeah I can start it yeah <clears throat> yeah same for principle uh, I think what's kind of weird is that uh, the core power uh, the core power is, you... is different than it, what it is in the LCP right now oh okay what is it in the... uh, additionally, once per round, whenever you become hidden, you may take your your movement. You may move up to your speed rather than boost. Okay. Because it was it's not supposed to be boost. Yeah, because boost would have broken. Hidden. Then you, but... uh, I, think the... hidden. Yeah. I I uh... think the next time I create, uh, I feel oh, yeah. the next year, That's all I have. I don't know, but do is moving mechanics. Mm -hmm. But I'm also gonna make just purely demolitions and mines. Yeah. The whole point of it is to get around and just place mines and throw mines. Finally, half-sized Iskander. 
there's all sorts of crazy talents and stuff because mines are kind of bad so everybody prints a way to, to buff mines and if you find like two or three ways of doing that you can start to get out of control and it gets pretty funny like my friend showed me um whoever printed just the nuclear bomb he found a way to shoot like four of those turns <laughs> uh yeah i'm excited for daredevil to hit i don't know if anybody here's looked at daredevil yet that looks strong as fuck, bro. There's a lot of frames that are gonna have three dice just forever. Yeah, baller, baller, fuck yeah. Like Don't the Nelson. Stop moving. <clears throat> like if I'm a, if I'm a Nelson, and I skirmish somebody, I get skirmisher and then I get lockbreaker. Yeah, get that, get that shit, get that bread, fuck yeah. Probably make it that you can only get it once per round, but I think that might be what it already is. You might be right about that. I should look at it again. Um, I didn't get to get my free... Re the reaction on Containment Specialist is like why I played this mech, and it just yeah. didn't come up. Sorry. You, you, no, that's fine. This combat could have gone for like another hour or two, right? Maybe. Maybe, depending on how bad the rolls were. True. Yeah, once per hour whenever taking non-standard movement, gain a die of slipstream. And then you roll a d6 and add it to your movement for the rest yeah. of the game. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, as a reaction, though. Which means that you, you sacrifice um, having any space control um, in the form of Overwatch for just more movement. Which honestly wait, pays. I, wait, I have a reaction for every turn. Like, it's my turn, I react on my turn, and then it's, you know, Skirmisher's turn. And I have a reaction on his turn. And I have a reaction on the subsequent turn. <laughs> Did somebody say reactions for days? But that's actually one of the things about the big claw mech is the uh, Blackbeard can take reactions while he's grappling, and I cannot. Right. In yeah. some ways, container specialist would be even better on him. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you only get one reaction per round, right? Nope. No, it's per turn. Per turn? Yeah. Oh. But you can only take one of the same Ooh. reaction. Oh. Yeah. Depending on how you wrote it, there's some reactions in the game where uh, you can be like behind the big size four tree trunk, and I can be like, "Ah, oh, cool! I react to the end of your turn by eating a slipstream dice, even though you're doing nothing near me." It's it's the end of your own turn. That's a reaction to spending your full standard movement. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's intended as the end of your as like once a round type of thing yeah. but uh, due to the way it's written you always have the people that go as rich and when it benefits them the most uh, yeah I'll add once per round now that I realize that's how reactions work I can't believe I've played this game for that long and still didn't understand that's how reactions work I'm so silly you can miss stuff bro my playgroup missed how slow it worked for like almost <laughs> There's we so thought, fucking much in this game sometimes. Fuck. We uh, we thought it was happy movement. We didn't think it was like turns off everything. It's like, oh, that's like completely different. It makes yeah. things make no, yeah. worse. Uh, it's it's uh, like slightly better and worse than half movement. The worst was trying to learn Icon. We learned Icon and we played it for like three weeks and then we dropped it. But just trying to learn both systems yeah. and there's so much keywords in that game. And it's really good when you know the keywords. But when you're trying to learn the keywords, it's like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, no, I, I like keyword systems. I think that they're really useful for like long term health of a game. But uh, sometimes because huh. like, yeah. I've been writing my um, my own tabletop RPG on the side. Once I finish on the eye, that's probably what I'm going to go back to um, other than the all the other maybe not it, it might be a minute before i go back to hell is full but that game uses a tagging system for a lot of its shit and um you, yeah, game is it's um it's a similar it's a tactical combat centric game like lancer if grappling was the strongest move <laughs> what's it called again it's called hell is full um you play as devils well demons. Yeah. you play as demons yeah I want to be white chamber. I want to kill six billion demons. Yeah, uh, you can play the fallen, which is just like a fallen angel archetype. Okay. Uh, somebody did play one. six juggernauts in as a fallen angel archetype character. It was pretty cool. I downloaded the K six BD RPG when it came out. Wait, and wait like, that's out? I thought that didn't exist. No, 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 no. It existed years and years ago. It came out before Lancer, bro. Oh. 
Shit. See, here, I was worried that when I was making Hell is Full, I'd be stepping on toes in regards to whenever KSBD's tabletop You gotta out. find it. I read it. I sped read it when it came out. I sped read Lancer when it came out, and I was like, none of these mechs appeal to me. Skip this game. And then Icon came out, and I was like, I really wanted to play it. I was like, where am I gonna find people to play this with? I went back to Lancer. I found the Tokugawa. Now I've been going hard. I like this game way better than fucking Icon, bro. Yeah, I've heard... My, my, I've heard something about Icon, but I don't have much more to say. Uh, I'm going to sell them for you now, actually.